What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and... <laughs> I'm being trolled on the internet by bullies! <laughs> Just kidding. Um, it's actually hilarious. However, it's... I almost feel bad for the people trolling me. Um, they didn't want this. Now, they clicked on the video, and they left a comment. So, clearly they want something. I... Figured I'd make this video just kind of talking about being trolled on the internet and what to do about it. And ultimately, um, the thing you can do about it? Nothing. People are going to find your content and people aren't going to like it. And that's okay. Not everyone's going to like the things that you make. And if they want to spend their time, energy, and, you know, mental space getting mad at you for it, well... That's on them a hundred percent, and it's honestly hilarious because I can't imagine getting so mad at someone that I flame them because I didn't want to see them. I can just leave. I want engagements on my content to be genuine. I want it from real furries, from real people that, you know, we can kind of connect on on that level. And that's what I like about the people who, who subscribe to me. All of you are super awesome. I've even met some of you and you're great. And it's just, it's such an awesome feeling. And all these like fake interactions where it's just like, oh, you suck, you're a furry. Well, that's not great. And it, but the thing is, is I'm never gonna see them again. Now I can't really decide who gets to see my content. That's a magic box somewhere at Google. But I can cultivate my online experience. And I think that that's something that everyone does to some degree. But if you let the algorithm do it for you with absolutely no input, you're gonna find a lot of things that make you mad because anger is a very strong emotion. And that's something that you've probably noticed on things like Twitter because they see any engagement, positive or negative, as engagement. So, you'll feed you more. And so if you're spending all day on Twitter flaming people for having bad opinions, you're going to see more of that content that upsets you. But, if you cultivate that content and reply to people who have um, healthy thoughts, who, who inspire you, who make you want to do more than, than what you might be doing now, or make you want to change your mind about something, interact with those things and you'll get more stuff like it. And I think that that's insanely important because if you're not doing that and you're just letting the algorithm feed you, the algorithm feeds on hate. And it's really sad. So you know, use the block button. If someone's making you upset, they just don't need to exist in your, like, circle. You can just stop seeing the stuff they make. And that's a feature on pretty much every platform. If you don't like, you know, furries, just press the button that says no, and there you go, problem solved. You might get a couple more, but after a while, the algorithm learns. And it stops giving you that content because it knows you won't enjoy it. And it doesn't, the algorithm's designed to keep you watching. So if you're not enjoying the stuff and you end up abandoning a platform because it's only giving you garbage, that's, that's a lost customer. And so they're not going to keep, they're not going to want to give that, they, they, they don't exist just to upset you. And the thing that messes with my head a little bit is where did they come from in the first place? My content is very rarely recommended outside of the music space and outside of the furry space. One of my favorite videos is a combination of both and it has a lot of normal people on it, a lot of non-furries. Except, it's not hateful. They're just like, oh cool, thanks for the uh, cool advice about the thing you're doing. And that was it. And it was cool. And I liked it. And so did they. I can't control who sees my content and who doesn't. However, you can. You can control who sees my content and who doesn't, and you can control what content you see. And I think that that's kind of the, the end of the thing. But to deal with trolls and to deal with people that you don't like, you just gotta cultivate your online experience. Don't think of the block button as some kind of, you know, I hate you, I want you to be unalived. You just think of it as a, hey, this isn't what I want to see. I'm going to just 
stop looking at it. Anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.